fourth final in a row. Yeah. You've been part of all of them. Um, You'll probably be part of the next one well. Well, so. yeah, wins and defeats, obviously. Um, pretty devastating for you all last season. So, do you use that fuel for the same opponent, the same venue, everything else this season? Um, yeah, look, I'm sure Rob's pretty much said it already, and I think, you know, us, the players, are uh, thinking the exact same thing. You know, uh, if we compare it to the first year when we lost up there, um, you know, we're almost happy to be there one of the year after and then I think last year obviously when we lost it was you know it hurt a lot. Um, we used that a lot this year, you know, not, it's always not not the first thing on our minds when we're playing week in, week out, but you know we did use that a lot this year to, to spur us on a bit. But you know, especially these last couple of weeks now that we've that's what we've been mentioning. We've mentioned the hurt that we did feel last year, the boys in the change room um, felt it, you know, the boys upset. Um, and that's what we've really used these last couple of weeks to get us into that position. You know, we, we said today that you know, if we did, did win today, we wouldn't be back in that position again. You know, it would be a shame to have worked so hard all year um, and then not even make a final. So, um, you know, like I said, we back ourselves at home. We found them very good, but you know, obviously over the moon to get to the final, but at the end of the day, we haven't won anything yet. Is that the most hurt that you've experienced in your ex-Chiefs career? I, I, I have, yeah, playing rugby, I think. Um, not just in my Chiefs career, I think. You know, especially after feeling feeling what it's like to win it. Um, I don't know, I've said it before, but that was definitely one of the highlights of my well, is the highlight of my career was was winning it for with this team. Um, it's one that you know I've, I've said it last week. You know, if it wasn't for the boys that I was playing with, that I wouldn't be going on a Lions tour. I wouldn't be playing for England. At the end of the day, those boys have got me into the position I'm in. And you know, to, to have lost that last year and to feel the, the hurt and look around the change room to see boys, you know, upset, crying and you know, pretty down about it. Um, you kind of sat there and realised that, you know, the year that we just played is, is, is going to be a different one. And, you know, like I said, we haven't worked so hard to, to get ourselves into position to go up there and lose it again. What makes it such a tough side to beat you? know, I, I think, you know, any rugby supporter watching Saris knows that, you know, they know what they're doing. They're a bit like us in attack. You know, they know, they know their drills, they know what they're doing. Um, and obviously very good in defence, you know, they suffocate teams. Um, you know, for us, you know, we enjoy keeping the ball. And you know you may get pushed back a couple of times, but um, you know it's about keeping hold of it and, and going through the phases of Saris. And um, you know, we've played each other enough over the last few, few years to, to realise what both teams are going to do. So uh, you know set set piece start of play is going to be important as well to get a bit of momentum. But uh, you know it's always a big arm wrestle, always one that hopefully we'll come out on top of next week. Who do you find to be the tone setters when you play? As an ally, obviously. You know, they rely a lot on, on the Vinopolo brothers and unfortunately Mac has been injured, but Billy again is a very you know, dominant player. Um, you know, Faz as well. You know, Faz playing with Faz, you know how much of a leader he is. So players like that they do definitely look up to. Um, so again, the reason we've beaten them in the past is that we've kind of had to nullify those those threats. Um, so you know, there's one that we want to focus on ourselves with as well. Is it much as a mental challenge as well as a I mean clearly physical challenge, but is it top two inches as well? Believing you can beat them. Yeah, I think, yeah, mentally you will go into the game knowing it's going to be physical. You know, um, it always is. You know, if you compare it to the semi-final when we, when we, when we beat them here, um, as well, it's very physical. Some of the collisions that was, you know, involved in, in last year's final was, was pretty mental. Um, so yeah, like you said, I think you know we'll prepare ourselves this week for the mental side of the, of the battle. Um, and then when we get, do get do get there and start playing, that you know we've also, almost got to enjoy it as well. Um, you can't be dreading a game like this going in ex thinking what they're going to bring. It's, it's more about us and what we're going to bring. Um, you know, hopefully, again, like I said, we'll come out and do, do the job next week. Which side do you think the neutrals will be back in? <laughs> I don't know, you know, you know, the way Saris have played this year, you know, the Heineken Cup champions, they you know, beat Leicester in, in a, a Leicester in the final. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of teams will be, will be back in them, but I think it's you know, important for us as well to be confident going into it. Um, especially the last couple of weeks, how, how good the Fampton have been against us. Um, especially coming in at half time, both games, and almost you know, being down or being very close, and them having you know, a swing of momentum before half time, and then us coming out and doing, doing what we've done the last couple of weeks. You know, we got a great, great lot of confidence from that. You know, no one's injured. You know, the, the squad's pretty much full at the moment. Um, so it's one that we can go into on Monday and you know, really enjoy. It's actually been a long time since a full strength Exeter side has played a full strength Surrey side. I think it was before Christmas and we had a good victory over there. The fact that it's so long between those two, that game effectively and this game, how, how do you think about that? Because you won't have played them quite as recently. There isn't that kind of form to go on. Yeah, I think obviously we're going to watch what the last couple of games that they've brought. 
Um, you know, they've got a full strength team lengths the game, um, you know, the semi-final as well. Um, but like I said, we've played each other so many times and we know their players, they know us. Um, so it's one that you kind of, you know what to expect, you know what's going to come. Um, and it's easy for us to, you know, constantly be thinking about them. But at the end, we maybe done that a bit too much last year, thought about what they're going to bring. Um, so this, you know, this year it's going to be very different. Um, clearly the first winning the Premiership was unbelievably special for everyone, but with doing it again, beating European champions, you haven't been in the final before, would that be extra special? Yeah, I think that's that's the drive. You know, they're currently best in England, best in Europe, aren't they? And you know, us as a team, if we're honest, that's where we want to be, and that's where we want to be trying to drive ourselves. You know, we felt we let ourselves down in, in the Heineken Cup this year, um, and their team has kind of done it and, and put themselves up there. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's going to it's going to be a special one to go out there and you know, hopefully, um, do a job on them. You obviously know so many of the guys in the Saracen tracks. Do you view them in a different way? In a week like this, I mean, someone like Owen must yeah. be someone looks like some of you just hate to play against. <laughs> I think you you've got to, you know, your friendship. The, the best thing about rugby is, you know, those 80 minutes your kind of friendship goes out the window in a funny sort of way, and you want to hurt them as much as they want to hurt me as well. Um, so it's, it's weird when I'm playing, I don't really know who I'm playing against, who, who's opposite me at that, at that moment. You know, sometimes when you're in a ruck, you have a bit of a giggle and stuff. But I think the best thing about rugby is you do, you kind of hate each other. Once you're out there for those 80 minutes and as soon as the game's finished, it's a completely different story. You know, you'll have a beer with each other after and you'll have a chat. And, you know, we've become, you know, quite close over the last couple of years of, of some of those boys as well. You know, not just me, but some of the boys downstairs as well. Um, but you, you have, as a rugby player, you've got to put that aside. You know, you, you can't be thinking about that when you're out there. Cool. Thanks, guys.